Hey guys, it's Mo, and today I have for you another video about troubleshooting these transparent sticker templates. So today we're going to be using this weekly kit one, and we're going to be troubleshooting the fact that or what to do when you use a pattern. So let's switch over to this. When you use a pattern like this that might have some white in it, so then when you go and make your image like that, you've got these parts that are missing because the white that was in your background pattern um, has been magically erased when you went through your whole process. So if you use Pixlr, which I know a lot of people don't or can't or whatever, and that's fine. That's why I'm making these types of videos so we can um, figure out uh, solutions around it. If you use, you use Pixlr, you're probably not going to run into that problem. However, if you do, so here's an extreme example. This leafy pattern, the parts where you can see the checkerboard behind here, that had a white background. So when we went through our process and we created our sticker sheet, the program we used also erased the entire background of our um, image. I'm going to show you what to do if you run into this problem. So I am going to save this image as a PNG image. Um, working, please wait. Okay. Um, I'm going to save it here as patterns three. Why not? We're going to save it here. We're going to use the blackout weekly kit that's a, or the blackout PNG file to help us with our problem here. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go over to my Cricut Design Space and I'm going to upload the image. Browse. Let's upload this. Open. Complex. And you can see again, wherever there's transparent, um, the white is gone. So it's going to cut all of these little things out. So when we send this to our print and cut, um, our printer and to our Cricut and load it, it's going to want to cut this and this and this and all these little dots and all this stuff. And that's not helpful when we're trying to make a weekly sticker kit. So we can hit continue. Continue. We're going to save this one as a print then cut image and we can name it whatever we want here, but we want to make sure it's print then cut. You can see over here if we saved it as a cut image, which this cut image is what the Cricut is going to read. So it's going to cut all of this mess here. You're going to get all these little jagged areas and that's not what we want. So we're going to save this print then cut, make sure that one's selected, hit save. And we watch this little green bar run across here. Um, I feel like it's gotten slower to save in the last little bit. I also feel like my internet might be running really, really slow. So I've already got a blackout file uploaded here, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So then once we've uploaded our sticker sheet that we've made, we're going to go to browse and we're going to click on our blackout weekly kit and click open. We're going to say also complex because why not? It's going to want to um, save it as a print then cut image because it is a PNG, it's not an SVG file, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on this box once it loads and save it as a cut image. Now you can change this however you want, click save. So we're going to add this one and this one to our canvas, insert images. They're both going to load here. What I'm going to do, and you can see they're nice and overlaid for each other, I'm going to select, let's see here, select both of them. I'm going to size it to be 6.75. Um, let's see here. Sometimes, you know, I make these things 6.75 by 9.25, and sometimes a decimal gets misplaced, and I don't know why. So what we want to do, we can now kind of, I hope you can now kind of see what we're going to do here to remedy this problem. We're going to go to our blackout file, which is a cut file here. You can see it's got the scissors, and it's got the um, print up here for our leaves because it's a print and cut. So we're going to go over here. We're going to change this to white. We're also going to change it to print and it should preserve the color. So you could change it to like orange or green or whatever you wanted to. If you were thinking, oh, that'd be really cool to do my weekly kit like this. So if you want to just replace the white in there, then we can just do white. Um, and then what we're going to do is hold down our shift key again and select both of these guys. You can also Let's see here, drag, oops, did I click on both of them? Drag and select both of them. 
Then we're going to flatten. That's going to make one brand new print and cut image. So then we just go over to make it. And it's going to print on one canvas. And it's also going to cut out these squares because we've got our image overlaid on top of a white square flattened to make one brand new image. So let's go back over here. I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to undo it. I'm going to unflatten it. I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to change this to be purple. Then I'm going to select both of these guys and flatten and get one brand new image. And then we'll go over to make it. It's easier. It works the same way. It's just easier to see because we have a color rather than white because our um, paper is white. So you can see you've got your full boxes. You've got everything. It's going to cut around these really cool boxes here. And then you're done. You have your great print and cut. Um, sticker sheet. So there are a ton of these in the shop here. Um, I've got this one. I've got ones for um, like teardrops. And I think I have another one that is just all boxes. I have a couple more that I want to put out. Just haven't had the time to do it. But yeah. Um, so those are the transparent sticker sheets in the shop. I hope that this video helped you a little bit. Maybe troubleshoot not only my templates, but other templates that you might um, I have purchased on Etsy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can check out a ton more of my Cricut related videos um, on my channel. I will leave a playlist linked as well. And you can find uh, some Cricut Explore inspiration, planner sticker inspiration, troubleshooting help over in the Cricut Ready stickers group on Facebook. So I hope to see you there and thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.